Hello and welcome to Thaik 18. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to update a collection or the bulk, everything as well as with the condition specific thing. So here, if you look at into this example, we have this standard cost. If you want to update some values, if you just right click, click on this update all, it's going to update on all the values of this standard cost. Whereas if you want to select something specific, like here we have option about mountain 100 and for example, if you want to select mountain 200 and if you see here, it's going to affect only for the mountain 200, the values is going to add up onto this one. And whatever the values we have other than that is not going to update those value. This can be helpful in this kind of scenario as well as if you are responsible for price approval for each and every product then the users will send you the request for the price approval you can just go through that and everything is okay then you can just select on this particular and then click on approve so it's going to approve everything from your side and also if you want to conditionally approve something like if you want to specifically approve certain category then you like you can apply these kind of logics to approve those values here so this is what we are going to look at in detail in today's session before going into that in detail if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices and i and i highly recommend you to please give me the feedback after watching my videos it means a lot and it improves a lot for me to take it further how my audience is looking into that and how we are going to proceed or how i can help you in your real time scenario as well looking forward to your likes and comments yeah now let's go into that in detail so if you click here hope you have seen my recent videos about the power apps as well how we can add nested gallery and how we can use the checkbox problems how we can create dynamic menus kind of thing so apart from that series itself i am just bringing up here like if you run this application we have the expand and collapse options on this one and we also have a select here it's going to load those product onto the right side so now what i have done here is update all functions basically if i i have added a button here and just given the radius to be 25 so that it looks like a rounded corners and on select of this button property i have just used this function which is update if so this is a function in power apps where if i click here update if it's giving me option about to add a collections and then we need to use the condition and then we need to pass our value so here i'm using this dim fil product filtered which is basically the collection which contains this information and if the condition is true which is everything is okay the, con the collection is available there that's why i'm just passing it true or false if it is true then i'm asking it to within the bracket the curly bracket we need to pass the column name and then colon and after that we need to use the same column name i mean whatever the formula which you want to apply here here i'm going to use the existing column name divided by one percent of its value so that it's actually giving us that result so that's how i used here so dim what update if the collection and everything is true then it's giving me uh, i want this to calculate this with method so this is updating the whole now what about this one and after that i just added one drop down where it is coming from this dream product filtered and its value is taken up from the model name so that's how it is coming up here and now if i update my model which is another button which i added here update by model number um, so if you select here go to this one we have option about update if it's the same condition but only difference is instead of true i'm passing that condition so it's dim filter product filter same collections and here i use initially the previous method i used the uh, true and now i'm using this model name which is basically the column name from this collection the name of the column and is equal to the drop down which i'm selecting it here at the bottom of this one which is ddl model name dot selected dot model name here and then i'm giving the same formula whatever i want here standard cost colon standard cost divided by one percent so it actually looking into these particular collections and then filtering this value and then applying those formula logics what i have used here so that's how it actually works now you may think about why this mountain actually when i run this application it actually giving us this result right i mean multiple same values the reason for that is basically i used i used it directly from 
uh, this collection in the collection it contains multiple records like how you see it on the table here so if you want to filter this one then you may need to apply a function which is distinct and then it is asking us to give you the source and an expression so the source is this one the collection itself come on i just want to apply one thing which is the model name and then close the bracket so i just want this to be this by model name here so it's giving us the model name and now if i select on this one it's giving me the error the reason for that is whenever we use this kind of calculation the end result is going to be the result actually the column name so here if i click on the value i just need to be select this one and here this has to be result so now if i run this application for now to show you the edit uh, result is now you see only three information is coming up here so that's perfectly fine it's working but still we are getting the error the reason for that is the button so if i go to this error here here is what it gives as the model name and dot selected dot model name so we don't have a model name column anymore it's basically if i click select this one is the result so because we applied the distinct function it actually removes the column name and it has given us the name of the result uh, column as a result itself as a default state so that's why we can remove that model name column and then use the result as the name of the column it's giving us the same result here and the reason for this error is actually i did some changes to this background color so that's why it's coming up here let's remove this and give it a white color background for this to appear yeah now it's giving up correct result and if i run this application now so we have this all the information here and we have mountain 100 200 these values if i select to be mountain 200 or you can also if i click on to the road road bikes here now you see it has generated a new record to here and also on the drop down we have these many numbers here so if i select road 550 w which is at the bottom of this one and then if i click on update my model is just look into this value it just changed the value here it's just giving up this information and also it is not changing to the road 250 or any other values to this one so this is how you can able to add those values inside to this one and you can update conditionally in the collections or you can update bulk as it is in the collections so if you like this video just hit the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure to turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video